Question numéro 5. Celle-ci, hein. Question number 5. Créer un macro nommé texte en tête. Enregistrer la macro dans le document brouillon doc. La macro doit insérer publication de votre nom dans l'entête. Arrêtez l'enregistrement de la macro. Now in English, create a macro named text en tête. Save the macro to the draft doc. The macro should insert your name in the header. And then stop recording the macro. Let's go and do that. Let's go back to a tab file. A blank document. And uh, let's just insert the random text, even if we don't need actually, but uh, just to, you know. <laughs> so we have a new doc, one page doc. So let's record the macro. In order to do that, we go by tab developer, or you can also go down here on the status bar. Here, you know, this little symbol here, you can also uh, uh, record here, but I, you know, use the tab developer. Okay, so here we have the symbol record macro. So we click in here. And here we have to name it text on text. Underscore. Underscore. And then they want us to, uh, to store this macro on the draft doc okay actually they want us to store uh, the doc in the draft doc but i'm going to save them here on the all docs here and then we hit okay and just in case you want your macro to be uh displayed on the quick access toolbar you can click also on this symbol uh let's display it on our quick access toolbar i click in here and here you can choose the new macro text on text and you just add it to the quick access toolbar and you hit OK. Now that we are, we are still recording, you can see the symbol here. You see the sign right here. So it means that we are still recording. Now that we have done that, we want to insert a header. We go to tab insert and we choose uh, right here by header. You can see here header. And we go by edit header. And here I can insert my name. Uh, first name is okay. <laughs> it's enough. And once we have done that, we go back to tab developer. Because we are still recording right now, as you can see. And now we want to stop recording. We stop recording. And here we have the first name inserted in the header. Now, back to our questions. Uh, now, it's question number six, question numéro six. Dans le pied de page, insérer des numéros de page comme suit. La première page ne doit pas contenir de numéros de page. Sur les pages paires, 2, 4, 6, etc., le numéro de page sera aligné à gauche. Et sur les pages impaires, 1, 3, 5, etc., le numéro de page sera aligné à droite. Enregistrer et fermer le fichier. Now in English translation, <laughs> in the footer, insert page numbers as follows. The first page must not contain a page number. On even pages, two, four, six, etc., the page number will be left aligned. And on odd pages, one, three, five, etc., the page number will be right aligned. Save and close the file. Let's do that together. Yeah, this one is really challenging. <laughs> and in order to answer question number six, uh, this time I want a Bible quotes file. <laughs> Let's go and get a Bible quotes file. Uh, I have one on my desktop and I have encrypted it because, you know, I have learned uh, IT security. <laughs> Okay, I have some beautiful Bible quotes here and uh, yeah, four pages. Mm -hmm. I think it's enough or maybe we can add some more. Uh, let me duplicate um, 
duplicate so that we have more pages. <laughs> okay, now we have seven pages, okay? There is this little symbol right here, down here, where you can click and then you can see the the number of pages or number of words, etc. So we have seven pages as you can see. And let me also go to uh, go back to tab view uh, so that we can uh, view side by side, you know, to have the question number six under our notes, <laughs> this one. Okay, now let's do it. So first of all, the first page doesn't contain any page number this one. But before we do that, we have to insert the page numbers everywhere. So, so in order to insert the page numbers, of course, you go by tab insert. Then we click on this symbol right here and we choose page number. And we want them at the bottom. They didn't specify in the middle or, you know, so I'm going to choose this one. And here we have already uh, the page number inserted. This is the first page. Let me go back. This is the first page and we have seven pages. So let me just scroll so you, you can see clearly with me. This is the second page. This is the third page. Four, five, six, and seven. I hope you see the page number right. Okay, now they don't want any page number on the first page. So in order to do that, let me get this one bigger. Okay, and here you can see first page by, by your footer options, you can choose your different first page. So once you have done that, the page number of the first page disappear, but you still have the page numbers here on the second page. And here it's starting with two, but we want it to start with one. Okay, so we go back to the sec. we are on the second page. And here we go by page number symbol and we go by uh, format page numbers. And once we are here, we want it to start by one. You can see here, it will start by one. And we hit okay. So, so now, it's one. This is what we want. Okay, now let's check if everything is all right. The first page, starting with trusting the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. <laughs> by the footer, no page number for the first page because we have clicked here, you see, by different first page. Um, and then we go back to the page number two, which is now page number one. And then we want to make sure everything else is following. So here we have page number one and here we have page two and here we have page three. Here we have page four. So now everything is looking all right. So now that we have done that, that we have started the second page with uh, the number one here. Now we go back and we click on it and we want different old and even pages as you can see up here we can click by different odd and even pages we click here so uh, this one is an odd page and i think the odd page they want it uh, right aligned let me go back to the question <laughs> okay by uh, um yes see here on odd pages one three five etc uh, the page number will be right aligned. So we go back to our doc. Actually, we can uh, put it side by side, but I prefer uh, like this at the moment. <laughs> so this one is going to be right aligned. So in order to right align, of course, we go by tab uh, home and we just do the right align. Okay. So once we have done that, we go further and this one is an even page and we have to reinsert this is how it works. <laughs> okay, right here. So first, let me go back to the text to make sure everything looks all right. Okay, uh, here it's still right aligned. We want it left aligned by the even pages. So we have to go back to uh, tab insert and we go back to page number. We choose the same thing 
and it does add automatically the number two and we leave this one left but we don't have to do the same thing for further pages it's going to be automatically now we can check we go back to our text we go back to the first page the first page starting with trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding down here we still have you know our page numbers but um for the first page it's different and then we move on the second page start with one right aligned this is right and and the third page is actually now number two and it's left aligned and we can check for further pages you see this one is also an odd page it's the number three and it's right aligned and the even page number four is left aligned you can see here and then the number five is right the number six is left okay so we have seven pages but the first page doesn't have any page number let's go back to our questions now we are done almost done this is the last question question number seven uh, question numéro 7. Dans le tableau, désactivez l'option qui permet que des sauts de page puissent séparer le contenu des cellules. Enregistrer et fermer le fichier. In English translation, in the table, clear the option that allows page breaks to separate the contents of cells. Which means also deactivate the option that allows page breaks to separate the contents of cells. Then we have to save and close the file. All right, of course, as you can see down here, we still have our two pages open. And this one, we don't need to save because I already have it. Uh, that was for, uh, you know, for the exercise. So um, now we have only the question left. What we want to do is to, um, to just insert another quick table, okay, for this uh, question. So we go back to tab file and here we take a blank and we insert uh, by tab insert, of course, a quick table, quick table again. Uh, let's choose another one. Why not this one, for instance? Okay, now we have this one and we have to select the whole table and uh, a right click. You know, like by the, I think that was the second question. Uh, table property. Then by table property. And here uh, we are uh, on table and we want to go by row. And by row, it is already checked here. Allow row to break across pages. But they want us to do the exact opposite, meaning to deactivate this one. So we deactivate it. And then we hit OK. You will tell me that you don't see no difference, but there is a difference. <laughs> OK, we have done it. So we're good with the exercises. All right, you all, as usual, thank you for watching. <laughs> Hopefully next time I will give you some good news. You know, uh, I found another school, you know, where I can uh, perform the real test for the third time and if god's willing the rest is coming next until then god bless you all in the name of the lord jesus christ bye bye <laughs>